Happy Tuesday. Welcome. We're so happy to have you guys. Thanks for coming to craft with us today. How are you doing, Jen? Do you have any jokes for today? Oh my gosh, I don't know that we planned one for once. <laughs> the one time you asked me for a joke, I wasn't ready for it. And Do you, you have one, tell Jen? the fish joke? Do you remember the fish joke? Tell the fish, tell Bellamy the fish joke. Ask her where do where do fish keep their money? Where do fish keep their money? In the riverbank. The riverbank. That's a good one. <laughs> With rocks. <laughs> yes. All right. Well, we want to thank everyone for joining us today on this Tuesday. I'm not sure how many of you have joined us before versus being here today for the first time, but this is our Kids Club Online. So definitely in the chat, say hi to us. Tell us your name. Tell us where you're from. Um, I will tell you just a little bit about myself. So my name is Catherine and I'm set up here at my house with my daughter Bellamy. Bellamy, can you say hi? hi. <laughs> Today Bellamy is a cat. It's our cat ears. <laughs> <laughs> That's very cute. Yeah. <laughs> and I picked up two rocks and I've hey. already painted them. They're my ears. Nice. Nice. So we're here. Let us know if you guys have any birthday parties. Oh, yeah. Is anyone having a birthday You guys have any birthdays? Let's see if we have any out there. Lots of people telling us who they are and where they're from. Yep. Oh, we got a May birthday. Very nice. Someone has a birthday tomorrow. We're Friday. within my birthday month, so I can tell you I had a May birthday. It was last weekend. So I'm still celebrating all month. As you should. Welcome everybody, this is great. All right, so I'm Jen and this is Zoe and uh, like uh, uh, Catherine and Bellamy, we're working from our home as well. And um, we're excited that you guys have joined us to paint rocks today. So we've got some pretty cool, I'm gonna show you an example of one that I've done. This is our happy rainbow kindness rock. So we put this out in front of the house so that, uh, you know, people walking by can see it and, and maybe we'll inspire them to paint some rocks too. I love that rock, Jen. We also have our moderators on. And so Karina, can you say hi and will you share today's project with everyone? Hi everybody. Yeah, I'll go right ahead. I'm gonna share my screen. Okay, hey, can everybody see my screen? So on michaels.com, you go to Board and Busters. Click on that, scroll down. Oops, just kidding. You go to Projects. <laughs> you scroll all the way down to Kids Craft. And it's the first project right here. Thanks for all the hearts, everybody. <laughs> and that's our project for today. So, thanks, stop. Karina. <laughs> Thank you, Karina. That's awesome. So, one thing I will remind you guys for those of you who haven't joined us before remember you can turn on your video so that we can see you. That's why we do the chats and the the videos instead of a webinar or, or pre-recorded, we want to see your stuff throughout. So we're going to be painting and we're going to show you what we're working on and we're going to want you guys to show us what you're working on too. So if you'll just, uh, you know, turn on your video, you can do a fun background if you want. Um, and then if you have a question about what we're working on, that's what the chat bar is for. So, all right, Catherine, are you ready for some rock painting? I am ready. So I saw awesome. some questions in the chat already about what size of rock, what kind of rock. So I'm just going to show you the one that I have. 
So over here we have, um, I've pre-painted some rocks and then I have some fresh ones. So here are the fresh rocks that we have. Um, I did get some outside. I bought some at uh, Michael's. So definitely, I think something that fits about the palm of your hand is a good size. I'll tell you that if you're gonna use paint, it takes a little while to dry. So you may want a little bit smaller rock. The other fun thing about doing rock painting is you can either start with your design or start with your rock. So I'll give you an example. I did this rock before we started today and I painted it red and I wasn't really sure what I was gonna do, but it really just looked like a strawberry to me the longer that I saw it. And so I went ahead and made it into a strawberry. We knew that we wanted this one to be a kitty cat. So um, I went ahead and painted it white and then drew everything on. And then this one over here was a butterfly. Um, and so this one reminds me of the ones in our how-to. So my little critter has some wiggle eyes and I painted a few layers and again, used um, some markers to do some of the detail. Give that to you just a little step closer. There we go. So like I said, any kind of rock, one that comes from outside, one that you buy from the store, um, you might wanna give it a little wash first to get some of the dirt off. And then you will want to take your first step. It's gonna be kind of deciding your design and painting your rock. So I use I love our the cat, Catherine. Cat. What? I love, I love the cat. That's my favorite, oh, I think. Thank you. They were super fun. Just a second. So um, I love the Creatology acrylic paint, and then we'll go through Jen's supplies here in a second. I do want to give you some alternative options um, to everyone out there, and I'm sure you'll come up with some great ones in the chat. Um, yes, you can use rough rocks. I highly recommend painting those instead of coloring. I did color this rock with our um, Creatology Silky Crayons, and it actually worked pretty well. The other thing that you can use are temper paint sticks. So this is another one that we have um, at Michael's. It's a quick stick. It's something that I use for kids art, poster boards, um, different kinds of projects, but I found that they work really well here on rocks. To decorate, the other thing that I used, I'm not sure if I mentioned it earlier, is markers. In particular, chalk markers have a lot of color and um, do quite well on top of your paint. So I had some chalk markers laying around the house and that is what I used um, to decorate them on top. So let's go to Jen and find out what she used for hers. All right, so my favorite paint, Catherine, is this one right here. Can you see that? It's Creatology and it's in this cool squeezy pouch. Um, it is super easy to use and um, they last for a really long time. Um, so I know we used to use some of the other paints that have, you know, the well and you have to try to pour it out and it kind of gloops out. And this one's got like a little small top so it comes out really easily um, and, and clean. You can just put it right into your little uh, paint dish like we have here. And the coverage is really good too. So it's not too thick that it's hard to work with. But, um, you know, this, this rock right here I painted this morning. And you can see it has nice coverage. That's one coat is all I put on there. And you can totally see the red. So that's my favorite. And then I use the foam brushes. So I found that if you're doing like a base coat, the foam brush works the best. And then when you get to like your detail stuff, um, you want to use like a small, a small tip brush. So you can go really small, just depending on, I see your cat, you probably you know, if you're gonna do a cat like that, you can use like a super small brush like this. Um, if you're doing broader strokes like a rainbow. Yeah. Awesome. Thanks for going through your brushes. It looks like you have a great collection over there. Thanks. All right. So we are ready to decorate some rocks. So I showed you our pre-finished rocks and then I will show you later how I designed each of these. Um, that's why I have these solid ones in the same color sitting nearby. Um, but we do want to color along with you guys. Um, yes, if you're going to change um, watercolor or paint colors, you might want a water cup. I was planning to just pick one color to paint mine with one brush. And then kind of like Jen said, use a different brush for my detail or use marker. So just some ideas. Um, we'd love to know in the chat what you guys are using, what critters you're creating today. I've seen some really fun stuff out there. Um, there's a cactus rock that you can make. 
There's all kinds of critters, literally, even a, even a mermaid. Pick your favorite. Unicorns, rainbows, <laughs> Unicorns, fishes. fish. Bellamy has all the ideas, um, but definitely pick your favorite pet or let the rock shape kind of guide you and um, get started. So I am using, uh, for those who missed it, I'm using our Creatology acrylic paint. I have pulled out um, some colors that I want to use today. Pink, I used blue earlier for uh, my butterfly. I used yellow for her dots. Um, my kitty cat that I did was white. I also like the idea of using white as a base. Um, if you have a dark colored rock and you plan to paint yours a light color, you might want to try that. Again, I'm warning you guys that um, on these rocks, especially the smooth ones, they seem to take a little while to dry. So when you're doing your paint, I would try to do a thin layer so that it can dry um, fast instead of having to take, you know, an hour or so. Just giving you guys some of the tips that I learned the hard way. Um, and then what my daughter Bellamy is doing here is she's practicing, hold on, use this one, coloring with our Creatology Silky Crayons. So that is actually what we used on this rock here in place of paint. They do get on your hands just like paint does, but the coverage um, in the darker colors is actually quite good. And then another alternative, if you missed it earlier, um, would be quick sticks. So these are solid temper paint sticks. They dry in about 90 seconds. I would say um, it takes a little bit longer on the rock to where they're not sticky anymore. But overall, it's a good solve if you are looking for something that is quick drying. So how's everyone doing out there? Has anyone told us what they are making? Uh, we have a dog that somebody is making. Let's see what else we have here. I'm making an emoji in case anybody cares. And, and it has googly eyes on it because, you know, we can't make anything without, oh, we got a smiley face. We can't make anything without googly eyes. Butterfly, Mickey Mouse, Ladybug, Dog in a Pickle. I like that one. Sleeping Unicorn, Hedgehog. Oh, that's cute. Strawberries, lots of strawberries, flip flops, flowers, fish. Man, you guys are creative. Is anyone using like yarn to wrap their rocks or doing anything with a different material? Maybe some tissue paper and glue or anything like that? I'm just curious. Cloud guy, butterfly, I see some good ones coming through. So. And also I saw someone ask if this was being recorded. So yes, I'm not sure if you've joined us before, but for our Kids Club Online, we do record them. They're available online. I know um, everyone will be working at a different pace today. So we will have these ready for you to see at another time if you want to come back and complete your craft. So how's everyone doing with painting? I want to make sure that you're right here alongside me. We doing good out there? Jen, how are y'all doing? Feeling good with the paint? Zoe is painted, has painted her rock purple. So awesome. you can check out the purple rock here. Love it. And, and of course, I have my googly eyes as far as I've gotten. I, I kind of want to leave it. Look, it's like the silent emoji. I love it. <laughs> I think it's kind of the face everyone's been making lately. It would be funny to, I think, maybe paint like a whole bunch of these and just put a bunch of googly eyes on them and like put them, you know, down by the, the sidewalk in our flower bed so that they're just like looking at people as they walk by. That'd be kind of fun. I love it. We have seen in our neighborhood, um, and I would love to hear what's going on in, in your neck of the woods, everyone, but we have seen where people are painting them to uh, Jen's point, kindness rocks and leaving them out for their neighbors. Um, I've seen where people are painting them to uh, look like a nurse, so they're wearing a mask and a cap and they're giving them to uh, frontline workers in their neighborhood. We are seeing that people paint them, you know, with just different critters, like I said, and leaving them out to either play with or share with their neighborhood. So I think it's really fun. Um, you know, a rock is a pretty simple craft that you can share with your friends and loved ones and leave them out to brighten someone's day. So I'd love to know if anyone has seen anything like that in their neighborhood, just uh, put us in the chat. So this rock we're about to paint, I love it because it's shaped like a heart. 
Oh, that's I didn't cool. Do this until I painted it. My heart. Our okay. our uh our parks that are nearby, people have been putting painted rocks out, and it's super cool because when we go out, we like to see them and. Some people are putting hashtags on the back and a cool thing that we've started doing is um you know the families will will kind of come up with a family symbol and they'll paint you know on the back of their rock they'll paint the family symbol so that's another neat thing you can do and that way if you're picking up rocks around your neighborhood you know which family's rock you just saw i love that idea i love that okay so i think we're inspired by your Rainbow. Do you want to draw a rainbow or do you want to draw the butterfly like we did and then we can glue some wiggle eyes on? I can help you. So one, one tip for those people out there who are a little apprehensive about um, drawing on your rock is use a pencil. Um, that is what I actually know how. I actually know how. Okay, hold on. You can do it. That's how I did the kitty cat. One second. That's how I did the kitty cat. Um, I sketched it out and then I filled it in. So we're going to start with a pencil and sketch out okay. our design first. So definitely feel free to do that with me along at home. Another thing that you can do is use a marker in the same color as your paint. So it won't show up as well as dark. So you can use that as a way to sketch if you don't have a pencil nearby. That's a trick I use all the time is to use the same color or a lighter color when I need to sketch something out really soft. So when you're using your pencil, you want to draw super soft on top of your rock because you're going to paint over it. There you go. Um, There's a nice comment here. I just wanted to bring it up. Um, as a nurse, I love to see these rocks at our front desk. So that's a new idea. I love that idea. Do you want to color it in or paint? Okay, how's everyone doing? We are about ready over here to decorate some rocks. So I'm going to take my own advice and sketch out my kitty cat. Um, I'm doing the head first with the little ears and I will tell you I am not a self-proclaimed artist. I am a mom who likes to do crafts. So uh, you definitely get some squiggly lines and some imagination, but a lot of love when we do our crafts together. Yes. How's everyone doing over there on sketching out there? All right, so I finished my, I finished my emoji. He's very shocked <laughs> at how many of you have come to join us today. Isn't that cute? Super cute. And somebody just busted out glitter over here. So we're going to have some glittery rocks coming up. Ooh, you are speaking our love language. We were just talking about if we use wiggly eyes, pom poms, glitter. I think Bella, me, and I have an entire weekend planned around yeah. more rock decorating. Well, I wanted to, my thing is glue and you. Glitter. Yeah, glue and glitter. Yep. Can you make a unicorn out of that? What would you yes, make? Yes, unicorn or mermaid or fish. So getting started over here, just drew on our little cat face. I'm going to give him some wiggly eyes and then we will draw his tail and decorate. And then Bellamy drew her butterfly and I'm going to teach Bellamy how to decorate that a little bit further using a pencil um, eraser. You're just going to dip it in the paint to make the dots on the butterfly. Fun, huh? Um, and then later we'll go back with a layer of chalk marker and use that to decorate further, just right on the top, really soft. And then what I do first is dip it on the plate and then very softly dip it into the wings. There you go. You might want to get a little bit more paint on there and do one more layer. Is anyone using some really fun tasks? I see, let's see, someone wants to learn how to use the glitters and not rub off. Jen, have you had any luck um, using glitter over there? Yes, okay, so here's the little trick that I tried and I was just about to do it with my next emoji rock. So um, I'll, kind of, I'll kind of do it as I show you guys. So some kid approved Elmer school glue here on a little paintbrush and then what I'm doing is I'm just putting it on the rock right where I want the glitter to stick. So I'm going to give this little guy 
glittery cheeks. And then take your glitter and just sprinkle it over your rock. And then when you're done, knock it off and look, he's got little pink cheeks. Right where I put the right where I put the glue. So that works best. That's awesome. Oh, we got a glitter problem over here. <laughs> Is it a problem if it involves glitter? Good point. So um, if you are doing wiggle eyes or pom poms, um, I've said this before, if you've joined us in the past, I really love Elmer's craft wand. It sticks super well to different surfaces, really good for different kinds of paper and textures, great for fabric and yarn. And it's worked super well for the wiggle eyes. Um, that I put on my butterfly earlier today. So just wanted to um, give that Elmer's product a shout out. It's, a, it's been a good tried and true one for me. What other tips are you guys looking for as you're crafting your rocks? We love to hear from you and we love to help you problem solve because that's part of the fun. That's definitely what Jen and I do um, over the phone and over text whenever we plan for these classes with you guys is we kind of do some problem solving. Um, so that we can be most helpful to you guys. And yes, you can use whatever glue you have. So um, no worries, you can use pom-poms. I see those questions coming through. So the more creative, the better. This is your project. Um, let, let it inspire you to do something fun, unique, try something new. And you might want to repeat the craft again this weekend. There is uh, one good question out there. It says, how can we preserve the paint when the rock is outside? Great question. So there's Mod Podge you could use or any kind of um, clear coat. And that, I think there's a, you know, spray on style that, that you can use as well. So just make sure that if it's something, um, you know, that that's for adults, you're letting your parents do it. Right. And I think acrylic will stay. If it's a washable paint, that's when it's, um, it can wash out. Yeah, definitely. I was, I read up on this a little bit and I saw a lot of, um, your point, Jen, was to finish it off with some Mod Podge or another yeah. outdoor type of paint sealer. Definitely, um, get mom and dad's help kids. That is something that needs ooh, another level of help from a parent, but, um, it's, it's easy, quick, will dry pretty fast, and then help protect them. I was looking at uh, mud kitchens, and there was a ton of cute food rock themes um, for doing like an outdoor mud kitchen, and a lot of them were talking about how to seal so that you can protect them and, and keep them nice for outdoor play. All right, so I am over here decorating my rock with a chalk marker. Would you like a different color, Bellamy? I would like do you have a really skinny paintbrush? Yes. <laughs> you should always have a real skinny paintbrush. Yes. Brown, Brown paint. Brown paint. My theme is 50 paintbrushes. Hey, Catherine, um, just a question. What's the name of the paint you used again? Yeah, so I use the Creatology acrylic paint. It is sold in a set of 18 colors, and they're these small bottles. Um, it's been kind of my go-to for a lot of these crafts. Dries pretty quick. And um, it's similar in nature to the washable paint pouches that Jen is using. And then again, I'm using chalk markers to add some detail. I feel like I get a little bit more control with those. Um, and then we also used some Creatology Silky Crayons. So we're getting really good coverage on our rocks with those for a base layer, along with the Quick Sticks Solid Tempera Paint Sticks. Um, that's another really great item that you can use for a ton of different crafts. I love it for younger kids. I have a four-year-old son and I think it's a great product for him um, because he gets to use Tempera Paint, but it's quick drying and easy to hold. So there's the start of my kitty cat. He's about to get more of a face, but I got his tail and I'm gonna add in his dots to decorate his body and then his wiggly eyes. He's so cute. Okay, I think somebody had asked a question about Mod Podge and which one. 
So this is the one I use and it is the gloss. So it's just the regular water-based sealer. This one right here. Okay, it's gonna get all over your hands, I'm just warning you. And I use it for loads of stuff too. So it's a good thing to just have on hand. One right. more question, Jen. Um, where can we see the recorded uh, classes? Great question. Those will be on michaels.com and they are on the classes and events page. Um, so the easiest way to get there is just to go to the michaels.com and then at the very top right there's a there's some words that say classes and events and you can click there and you can see not just this kids club you can see the other kids clubs we've done um, and then you can see some other classes that we have if you're interested there's uh, baking classes and um, all different kinds of stuff. Yes, I, I have really enjoyed some of our adult classes too, obviously enjoying the kids classes as well. Um, but it's been fun. And then uh, to Jen's point, the nice thing is if you don't finish your craft or you want to come back and do this again later or share it with friends, um, they're out there and available to use. So we just cut our cute little eyeballs. He is so funny with his wiggle eyes. And then Bellamy is moving on. I think she's going to make a watermelon now. So we are having a ton of fun um, adding on different themes over here. All right. So did you do any of them where you just paint straight onto the rock or did you do a base coat for all of them? So I did do um, both actually. Okay. We, we did um, some where we painted straight on and some where we did the base coat. I definitely <laughs> learned the hard way that I wish I would have picked lighter color rocks because we were doing light pink paint. It obviously would have taken fewer coats had yeah. I pre-planned that. Um, so just a lesson, you know, for next time we decide to do something like this is I will use a white rock or a light tan color just so that I get quick coverage um, faster. All right, so just finishing up my design over here. Um, I'm drawing in the dots. It sounds like a few people are done. Someone has a question. And then my question for you guys is, are you joining us for another kids club? Have you been joining us already or is today your first one? We would love to know. We've been having a ton of fun making Mother's Day cards and artwork. Um, we also made roll uh, toilet paper roll unicorns for our first uh, kids club. So we've got a few more fun ones coming your way for the rest of May that you can sign up for on the website. And I uh, saw someone ask if they have to show their face only if you want to. And if you're done with your rock, we would love to scroll through and see your fun work. What do you see out there, Karina? I think I see a rainbow with clouds and um, I'm trying to make out, there's this blue one. Is that an ocean? Can't see. No, the rocks are little. Oh, I think I see a unicorn. Fun. Any more emojis? Any more food? I see some vegetables. And I'm making a frog with my googly eyes. You're making a frog? Oh, he's yeah, cute. I see my frog. I love it. Thank you. And this is my finished little guy with the with the rosy cheeks. Cute, cute. I love it. So him. cute. I love the idea. You can tell I like the googly eyes. Yeah, the googly eyes are great. We just finished our kitty cat with the googly eyes. Um, Bellamy's working on a watermelon now. We have our strawberry. Oh, I want to see the kitty cat. Here you go. So here's our final kitty cat. Ooh, oh, yeah. Cat. I love the eyes. Those are yeah. cute. <laughs> but that he turned out. Good. Oh, I see another emoji. Let's see okay. a strawberry in the making. 
Thanks for showing us, everyone. I see you guys holding oh, them up. A vampire. Woo. We should do this again, Catherine, for uh, Halloween. We should do like Halloween rock painting. That would I be fun. Love that. that is a fun um, exchange item too. If you painted a bunch at once and then went through and made them pumpkins or um, fun little treats. I love that idea and fun for yep. decorating. Oh, you question. Can even them to people. Once um, they're painted, the rock was still a little wet to design on them. So any suggestions? Is it just waiting? So there's a couple of things you can do with the paint sweat that I've done. Um, so you can get your mom or dad to, to use a hair dryer on it and dry it really fast. Or I like to do uh, what I call wet painting. So, so like when I did the, the rainbow, I just went in and painted. So you just have to be really careful. Like if you, you get too crazy with your brush, then the, the, the colors will blend together. But if you, if you go in real careful with a small brush, you can actually paint on it while the other coat is wet. It just depends, you know, if you, you've painted your rock really a dark color and you wanna go on with a light color, it makes it a lot harder. So you kinda of have to wait for that to dry. Great, thanks, Jen. Love those ideas. I definitely had to use the patience route, but I did learn that if you can try to paint a really thin coat, um, which is what I've done with this white one that I'm starting on right now. It dries faster. Um, I think I got a little heavy handed when I was trying these out before the class and it was taking a while where um, since we've been in class today, I've been able to make two coats on this and they've both dried on, uh, for sure the first, first coat dried completely and I'm getting the second one on right now. So um, I think that that's a, a good way to do it so that you can still complete your craft pretty quickly from a dry time perspective. Yeah. Yeah, I used some pretty, I, I went really, really thick on my paint for the emojis. And then I just hit it with like a hairdryer for a little bit and dried it. Um, and one of them I let dry overnight uh, because I did both sides. It, I, had to, I had to let mine dry. So if you're, it, uh, here's a cheat that I'll show you. So my cute little frog that you see, um, it's all green on top, but look underneath, no paint. So see, if you don't want to paint on the bottom, that works. And then for those of you who missed it, I have a little hack. You can use Play-Doh and you stick it right under the bottom of your rock and you squish it down on the table. And then it keeps your round rock from rolling around when you're trying to paint it. I love that tip, Jen. That's brilliant. I got my Play-Doh out and then I got started before I had remembered to put it in place. But that is um, a really awesome tip. The other thing that I do, and I know I see Jen do it too, is just grabbing some um, disposable plates. We use these for several paint projects. In fact, they get quite decorated before they get disposed of um, because they're kind of my go-to craft plates. But I love them um, just to kind of keep everything contained. As you can see, Bellamy uses them too. Um, then afterwards, everything's just a quick wipe down and we're, you know, back in business and have our lives organized again. So just a couple other tips that we found helpful um, as we're obviously both parents out here crafting with our kids too right now. All right, everyone. Well, we thank you so much for joining us today. One more time, feel free to hold up your rock. We want to see what you've made. Bellamy, which one do you want to hold up? Your butterfly? Okay. All right, let's everyone show us. We want to do the rock parade. I'm clicking through and looking at all of you. So say hi, show us your fun rocks. Did I see a monogram rock out there? How fun. Awesome, thanks everyone for participating today. We can't wait to see what other things you make as we go through our kids club at Michael's. Those look so good. Seriously, the cat, I think, is my favorite. I love that. That's our watermelon. Nice. I love the watermelon. I'm giving my frog lips. Love it. Oh, that's a good idea. That's a good place for glitter. Frog lips. Oh, yeah. I like that. And a crown with pom-poms. Yes. <laughs> that's a fairy tale frog. Oh, uh, <laughs> Well, thanks, Jen. It was good crafting with you again today. Yeah, it was so great to craft with you. We'll see you on Thursday. It's such a great job. Thanks. I love those.
Seriously, start practicing what you want to do for Halloween rocks. All right. Thanks for the idea. Yes, you're welcome. All right. Bye, Karina. Bye, Jen. Bye. See you guys later. Thank you. Happy rock painting. Happy rock painting. <laughs> yeah, once.